Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do another DIY with you guys. As you know, I've been making a lot of things with essential oils for Christmas this year. Um, so as I mentioned, I think in a previous video, the next thing I wanted to sort of try to do is, the, some people call them shower steamers, some people call them um, shower melts. So they're basically little pucks and you put them in the floor of your shower and they steam essential oils. So you can use them with uh, like a respiratory blend if you're congested. Um, you can also do um, like the Citrus Bliss if you want something that's like emotionally uplifting and invigorating first thing in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna do a batch of each um, to go in with some of my Christmas gifts. So I've got a batch in the oven now and I thought I would Put another batch together with you guys and so we can sort of see what they look like going in and then what they look like um, coming out. So the first thing you're going to need is a bowl. This is a stainless steel bowl and I've got a whisk in here. Um, so then you're going to want one cup of baking soda. So I'm just putting that right in the bowl. And a third of a cup of water which I have right here trying not to spill. This is water. And I'm just gonna whisk that together into sort of a paste. So I found a lot of different recipes online. It was really hard to know like which one to use, to be honest. Um, some of them they say to put the oils in ahead of time. Some people say only put the oils in at the end. So um, I'm gonna do a little bit of both because I couldn't really get like a common like a general consensus of like which one was better. So um, basically if it called for like six drops of oil in the puck, I'm gonna do like three ahead and three at the end. So I'm covering all my bases. So the consistency you're looking for in your paste is sort of like a runny toothpaste. So this is not, this is not that. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water and see if I can't get a better consistency. The first time was pretty much bang on the money. It was the exact same mix, but I did still have like a little bit of paste left in the bowl, so that may have made the difference. So I think this is a little bit better. Might be a little bit runny, but you know, we're figuring it out as we go. I'm not like a big crafty person. I'm not necessarily one that's like doing a lot of DIYs, but um, in using more and more of the essential oils, I've sort of figured out that there are some things that maybe it's better if I just make it. So this would be, I think, like runny toothpaste. So <laughs> I think that's about the consistency that we're looking for. So I'm just going to grab another baking sheet since mine's in the oven. They did recommend that you could use um, muffin tins. Hold on. Um, or you could use like a baking sheet with the liners. So that's what I'm doing. I got these little liners. So the recipe I'm using actually called for like the bigger liners and I got the little ones um, just because they were cute and they have like little flowers on them. So I'm gonna use those. And so I'm not using as much oil as what it called for in the recipe either. So I'm basically putting in two drops per puck before they go in the oven. And then two drops I'm going to put on the pucks when they come out of the oven. And that way, if there's one way that was better than the other, we've done both. So that's my solution. When in doubt, just do it. So the first time I tried to make these, I tried to use like a ladle. It didn't really work that well. So I'm just using like a regular size spoon. And I'm just spooning right into the muffin tins new camera person for these DIY videos. And basically you wanna fill them about halfway and don't move the tin, like the little liners. Once you've got them filled, I found that out the first time, if you move them, they'll just start to flatten out, so don't do that. Fill them about halfway. You can add a little extra, like if you've got to the end and you've got some left over, just pop that right in there. So you guys will have to let me know, is this something that you like to see? Is this something that, you know, you guys want to see on my channel or what? I probably will go back to not doing a lot of DIYs after Christmas. However, if it is something that you guys like to do, then maybe I can add it as like a playlist where, you know, maybe once 
a month we do like a little DIY with essential oils. I am also going to make, in time for Christmas, I want to do the um, homemade Vicks Vapor Rub. I uh, mentioned that I think in my last video where I talked about the On Guard. So I finally have all my ingredients for that. I was waiting for a few things to come off of Amazon. Um, but I just figured I'd do this today and I'll do the Fix Vapor Rub another time. But I am going to use the same respiratory blend of oils. Okay. So I'm just going to show you guys. Everything's going to fall apart because I moved this. But if you can see my little. Hold on, I'll move. I'll just change the camera around here. Hold on. Okay. So you guys can see. Oh. I suck with the camera. So they're sort of like halfway filled. A little liners. Let's see if I can get my camera set up again properly. Eh, a new. Okay. So I'm going to use. Oh, the lighting just got really weird all of a sudden. Sorry, another ratchet video by the beauty expert. <laughs> okay. So I'm using the respiratory blend, which in doTERRA is called Easy Air. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on. I'll move over here. Maybe this is better. Everything fell to pieces when I decided to move the camera. I just have everything balancing precariously in my kitchen so you guys can see me, but it's a bad angle. This is what we're doing. So this is the Easy Air. That's what I'm using. So I'm just going to put two drops onto each puck um, of this batch. One, two... And then the other batch is just about ready to come out of the oven, so you guys can see that. Um, and I'm going to add the oils to the already baked ones. So I'm just about to take those out. It said 15 to 20 minutes on 350. I did 15 minutes. Ooh, yep, we got some respiratory blend on there. I can feel the peppermint in my eyes. <laughs> um, I did the 15 minutes because I did the small cupcake um, liners. I decided that probably it didn't need the full, like, 20 minutes. I didn't want them to turn, like, brown around the edges, so. I can't pick them up yet. They're really hot. <laughs> and they're kind of stuck to the pan, so. Um, I would recommend using an old pan. Oh no. Okay, I had to put the camera down for a second. Everything was falling to pieces. So I took the first batch out. They were a little bit stuck to the pan, which is totally fine. Um, do not try to move them when they're hot. They will crumble. Um, but they've cooled off now and they look like this. Uh, so they turned out pretty good. The first batch turned out good. They're nice and solid in the tin, in the little cupcake liners. However, if you try to move them before they're done, this is what happens. So let them cool um, and then you can move them. So I do recommend using an old baking sheet um, because they did sort of like leak out of the bottom a little bit. Um, so definitely use an older pan or maybe put some parchment paper down or something like that. Um, but the first batch turned out really good. Um, so that is the respiratory blend. So I put, uh, it was a cup of baking soda, a third of a cup of water. I put two drops on each puck before they went in the oven. And then I put a drop on each of them after they came out. The second batch is in. I showed it to you guys when I was mix it, mixing it up and I said it was a little bit runny. That was an understatement. They're everywhere inside of the oven. So I'm mixing up a second batch. Um, I'll see what I can salvage out of those ones. Probably I'll just use those ones like for myself and not have them as a gift because I think they're fine. I mean, ingredient wise, they're fine, but they don't look nice. I'll show you when they come out. There's two more minutes. But when I said runny toothpaste consistency and I showed it to you guys and I said it was like a little runny, this is what you're looking for. 
this consistency. So I've now learned if it is runny, they will just like like spill and like pool out inside of the oven. So that's fine. Like I said, I'll just let those ones harden really good and those will be my own personal shower steamers. Um, so I am gonna make another batch of um, with the Citrus Bliss now that I've got the consistency right. So if you need to add a little more baking soda or you need to add a little bit more water, um, just do that until you get the right consistency. It's fine um, because they do turn out nice and it smells really nice in here. So those are the shower steamers, shower melts, whatever you wanna call them. Um, sorry, just shut the timer off. Uh, if you guys like this, let me know. If there's other um, DIYs that you guys would like to see, let me know. Um, I am going to do the DIY VIX Vapor Rub. I think I'm also going to do uh, maybe like a lip balm at the same time as that because it's basically the same base. It's just different oils. Um, and with the lip sense, you're really not supposed to use any like wax-based lip balms. Um, so I think it would be nice to maybe make one that's like I have coconut oil and shea butter, maybe do that with like some lavender frankincense or something like that for the lips. Um, so I'll probably do that as well. But if there's anything else you guys, you guys would like to see, let me know. If you hate this, let me know. Um, if you wanna see more, um, I can definitely do other things or let me know if there's something specific you'd like to see. Uh, please subscribe, it really means a lot to me. Um, if you guys would subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Um, I really appreciate any support, any sharing of the videos, all of that is uh, much appreciated. So, um, sorry it was another ratchet DIY video. I'll get better at this, I swear, but um, hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what not to do or what to do, however you want to look at it. So, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.